Looking to go out in the town in the city of Boston for an affordable price and grab some great food, drinks, and atmosphere in the Seaport District? Well, look no further than newcomer Seaport Social. Seaport Social is a premier and authentic social house that is poised to proudly serve the Boston area for many years to come. Their mission is to provide high quality food and unique craft beer selection, along with a welcoming atmosphere for all those that wish to witness firsthand what the Boston social spirit is all about. From a top-notch bar, great group seating, to their premier menu, including their massive loaded nachos, endless craft beers on tap, and an exquisite espresso martini option, look for manager Jimmy, who will satisfy your needs. A project that has been four years in the making is finally here, Seaport Social, which is located at 225 Northern Avenue in the Seaport District in Boston, will officially open its doors for their grand opening December 1st. Get there while you can and tell them Steel and Az sent you. Eat, drink, social. That's what the Seaport Social does. Let it rip. Back here again, Saturday morning uh, special, episode 126. Uh, welcome to Steel and Naz, brought to you by the Hedge Better uh, from our headquarters in Brainstream, Massachusetts. Boys, yep. how are we doing? Feeling right. good, how's, feeling good. How's that Downey's Red Slushy doing? A little, little marketing. Delicious. I don't know how a cider company is making a slushy flavored chip, but like, they're good. Yeah, I got, good. I got, the, blue, I got the blue, blue flavor over here. I'm a huge blue Raz kind of guy, so I'm a big fan, actually. You know, before we be about it. dive into the game tonight, we're, we're recording on Saturday. The Celtics are playing Saturday night. See if this gets out in time. If you listen to this after, we'll see, you can uh, see our guesses for tonight. But uh, we're sponsored by Slide Edge Fitness and Performance at 101 French Avenue in Braintree, Massachusetts. Uh, Craig Kelly is getting after it. Um, a lot of Braintree Busy kids. Busy class there today. Oh, nice. He Busy class. And he just got a bunch of new equipment. Saturday, Craig Kelly's on his ground. Saturdays, gun. he lets it rip in there. A lot of Braintree High School kids uh, committed to colleges. I think that's the Slide Edge way. Um, also, uh, the law office is a Patrick J. Foley, um, a- absolute unit. Uh, I don't know what else more to say. Just if you're looking for someone to grind, uh, cause he'll gr- out grind anyone. I think he said he'll it gets you out of case. He does it. He'll, he'll finish <laughs> close a house for you. First hand right there, right? First hand. <laughs> um, he didn't do it, but he had no, to connect. Yeah, yeah. He's got connects. So it's good. Episode 126. Here we go. Um, so on the forefront here, got to start out with the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. They go down three games to zero. All hell has broken loose. Um, Celtics come back in game four to take it by like 15 points. And then an absolute shit show at the TD Garden. Sorry. Uh, there you go, Craig. Was that a, was that a hinge date? No, that, that was actually a voice message. Oh, I like that. <laughs> um, yeah, but the Celtics took care of business at home. They're going on the road for a pivotal game six in the Eastern Conference Finals against the Miami Heat. Uh, Magic Mike, I don't think I've I don't think I give you the floor a lot first on um, sports debates, but I'm going to do that today. Uh, what do you think going into this game tonight? If they play like last game, and yeah, I mean really last game, they they got to come out like that. Like that's the Celtics team that can win a championship. Fucking Derek White, I, they came out hot. He was unbelievable. They came man. out hot. Their defense was good. They were very locked in. They they have to play like that. Otherwise, it's a fucking toss up. Everyone says it, and it's like so true. Like they only play defense if they hit shots. That, but I think they're yeah. angry. They look angry. Yeah, they, they, I think what I, that game three was. That was the most. That third quarter was like pathetic. That was oh yeah, it was awful. Watch. I mean, I, I've been saying it since the beginning. Like one of the main Celtics problems that they're having is they can fucking never drive in and fucking. Get like lay it up, throw us down a slam. That's exactly what's been winning these games. Yeah. Every time we've lost, we've been shooting too many threes. No one's going in shooting at like a short range field goal. Anytime that Jason Tatum is controlling the ball, going in, driving the lane, that's like the difference in the making of when we start to get points and start to take away some of the momentum on I, the other end. I'm all for that, Craig. And I like that's the way I want them to play the game, but they're not doing that. They're just going to shoot the three ball. And if they get hot, if Derek White shoots six from eight from the three, if Marcus Smart shoots four, six from the three, you know, Jalen Brown, Tatum hit their shots. They're going to be a tough team to beat. And that just ignites their defense. Um, and every single one, one of Miami Heat's wins, they've scored over 120 points. The last two games, the Heat, uh, Celtics have held them under 100. I think that's the type of game that you'll even see early tonight in game six. If, if the Heat get on a roll and they get over 100 points, it's going to be tough to beat them in game six. Jimmy Butler coming out to play hasn't really – played to his yeah, um capability the past couple games um Caleb Martin 
He's been unbelievable for the uh, for the Heat. He every time to the rim, he's burning all our defenders. He's hitting shots. That's a guy we keep an eye on, and also a guy who played great last game too. Who was in foul trouble, Robinson. probably would have played better. Duncan Robinson, I think he led the team in 18, 18 points. I don't points. like that prick. He he's he reminds me of like a Kyle Korver. He he doesn't miss really. Yeah, he doesn't. In, uh, Early, <laughs> I really didn't know who he was till game three, and he was hitting uh, like. He was just really rubbing it in, hitting everything like crazy three. So he had like twelve of his eighteen points, like probably like seven minutes to go in the second quarter, and he got it picked up his third foul, and they put him on the bench. And I'm like, thank God, yeah, because he was the only one kind of going. Any for of them. their hot shooters can get together. Yeah, I think I think a big thing too in Game Six as opposed to or Game Five as opposed to the rest of them is Gabe Vincent was out with the ankle injury. Is he still out? Uh, I think he's like a game time decision. I think he will he play. Better be out. I think he's got to be attack that ankle. Then. Um, because what's his name? Um, Kyle Lowry is not what this team like. The the Celtics will dominate Kyle Lowry. He's a piece of shit. Oh, Mike Steele in the building. Mike Steele had some card trouble. Had some card trouble. Do you want a slushy, Mike Steele? Yeah, I do. Danny slushy. We yeah, got red, white, or blue. All. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you a red. Start to this type. Put on the pod. Thanks. There we go. Um, we were talking Celtics. Got a little cut off by your entrance. I just wanted to know how it went. Um, uh, Steele was at the Foo Fighters last night for Boston Calling. Uh, just yeah, just give give me what what uh, happened there. Ten out of ten. Uh, they brought out uh Taylor Hawkins, R.I.P. Their drummer passed away. This was their second show, I believe, since he was back. They brought out his son for a song to wow. play drums. Absolutely ripped it. Kid was an animal. But the crowd had to be going nuts, dude. Like, oh, that, crowd, that's a pivotal no, it was, moment it, for the it, group. Was, it was absolutely amazing. Played all the hits. Have a long times like these. Like like 10 out of 10. Absolutely. Any good concessions? Though. They always have like crap. Fuck you. Beer. I was about to ask. Oh, no. You do it. You do it. You do it. You do it. So, You're stealing my thing. That I literally was like, fuck the food fighters. <laughs> How are, the con- <laughs> How are the concessions there? Uh, the concessions looked great. So I showed up at the Foo Fighters. Like oh, I showed up at like eight. Bullshit? Yeah, like I was not there the entire time. So I did not I did not dabble with the concessions. What the hell were you doing that you skipped the rest of the shows? Work. It was Friday. Oh, okay. So Boston yeah. Calling is a good showing. I've yeah, Boston Calling is unreal. Did Boston they have like a Ferris wheel this year? Definitely. <laughs> did they? Yeah. Yeah, I think they had a They years always years. do, I feel. Yeah. Where uh, they're it? trying to copy Coachella. It's right in um, Harvard. Harvard, yeah. Harvard, like their like football field and shit. Yeah, like it's I, like the parking. I'm pretty sure it's someone I don't know in Alanis Morissette tonight. Yeah, uh, Alanis Morissette will probably be electric. Let's did be honest. Did you have tickets all three days, or are you just no. for the yeah, just for the Foo Fighters? Well, that's what in recent years they haven't had the best headliners. Obviously, the Foo Fighters is a pretty good damn headliner. I don't know. I got to disagree with you. They've had Imagine Dragons, Eminem. Eminem uh, was like five years ago. <laughs> Maybe, maybe literally three. last year I saw Metallica there. Yeah, that yeah. Which might you're be the kind of out of control. On that take there, no, man. they usually have like one big like you go oh, one big night. set doesn't do it for him. Like oh, you could oh, argue right. Metallica is the biggest band on the face of the earth. A hundred percent. Yeah, on earth. Yeah, not even just America. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I all I'm saying is they brought the Foo Fighters, Metallica. You get one night in. There's three nights. Who's got fucking Cyril Mor- Morissette from the Morissette post down the street? Uh, is that who's, who's playing tonight? Who's playing at that <laughs> shitty fucking Quincy music festival? It's going to be a veteran stadium. Kyle Sakira. Who the, the hell? Jacks. No, not him. <laughs> <laughs> who, no, are we going to the Free Jacks game today? No. Wait, what, what, what is the name of that concert it's, they have in, in, in Quincy? Because I saw on some TikTok, there, there it was like is. 10 things it, to do this summer, and it, that was There's awesome. a legit yeah, music it, festival it's in like Quincy. It's like in between two days or something. I forget what it's. We have to go. We have to go to one. It is that. Yeah, we'll check it out. We gotta get um. <laughs> we gotta get to a free Jacks game. We'll get, we'll get a They're gonna fucking disown us this. Free yeah, the season. one, the one today. <laughs> Is it today? Why are they playing today? Because um, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Yeah, it's, grow they the usually fuck play up. Sunday. This kid doesn't no, even know they, a day. They play it Saturday. Sunday. They literally. And it's a yeah, fucking right, schedule right, of the free Make jacks, time. dude. What do you want? <laughs> Fuck. I, I can't make it today, but I hope I, I will get to their playoff game. Hey, we got a um. By the way, we got a little podcast inception talking to the uh D Gen podcast. Said they met you guys last weekend at the wedding. Yeah, Wigau, Yep. Oh yeah, yep. good guys. Good guys. Great guys. What did you Great call? Guys. His name's like Wagau. What, what is it? W- Wagu. 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 You know Wagu. 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 Yeah, he's high cut. He's high cut. From I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Has never had some Wagu meat. Yeah. Can you I, get his I, fucking um, name right? <laughs> uh, Wait. I'm, I'm a double steak burrito guy. I'm sorry. They, they talked about some of That's their favorite uh, parlays today on the podcast. They were saying they they did a wedding parlay. Were any of you guys involved with that? 
I was not. No. When they say they go around to about 15 <laughs> different people and get everyone's take for what their parlay bet would be for the day. It's kind of a great idea. I probably did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, Mike, Mike Steele has been on an all, yeah. all out Hall of Fame band every week. Steele's sleep. parlay was over under 20 beers. Yeah, I bet you I fucking lost. Yes. I bet you I fucking lost. Actually, you know what? No, the bit. <laughs> He, it was probably under because the Cape Cod Islanders came into play, so that's not a beer. God bless the Hoth and Kettle. <laughs> Stealing now is brought to you bunch. by Stealing now is brought to you by the Hoth and Kettle. Yeah, we should get that sponsor. Yeah, I would. I would love that. <laughs> I've had a Cape that. Cod Islander way too fucking. I know they they overtook it in Weymouth. Now it's like real one twenty one. Yeah, probably shut up. Probably a good spot, but, but, but fuck that. Yeah, right, let's uh, get back that. into Game Six. No, I like I like the little side talk there. Um, we'll give Steel the floor. Uh, going into Game Six tonight. Obviously, things started going the right way for the Celtics in terms of offensively turning into you know defensive stops. Derek White, yep, what a monster! What a monster! Came back, monster finally hairline. came back. Yeah, no, it's at, no, looks great, looks great. <laughs> Don't hate on him. His I'm looks. not. No, if he hits threes like that, fucking receded <laughs> another inch. No, I mean, uh, like the past two games have been exactly how the Celtics should have played the entire. Like, if their response. In game five, like if that was game, no, nah, no, game four, game four. If their response was that in game two after they lost game one at home, yeah, different series. Let's three go! Two. Like Rup that would have been fucking, like it would have been absolutely incredible. It just like winning four in a row is tough. Yeah, it they should have, could have. What is like they could have got either one of those games at home. Game three was kind of a wash. But uh, I game feel three like, was sad. Yeah, game three was very <laughs> sad. No, but like even sad. It, Best way to describe. Even trying to be bi- like b- non biased, like as a Celtics fan, like it, the energy has shifted. If they win this game tonight, there's oh. no way they lose a game seven. I'd be shocked. They can't. You can't. You win that this would be game. The ultimate, you win this game six weapon. and lose that game seven. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> all of fuck them. them. Fuck but, all of them. But that burn is, the team. That is kind burn of it. <laughs> burn it. That is kind of the Celtics way though. They kind of just like fuck you. You win this yeah. game six. <laughs> Then you have to do it. You, you have, have to. to I do feel it. a pit in my stomach. Don't about let tonight. us win tonight. That's I have, all I I have say. a pit in my stomach about tonight. Anton should be in that building. Yeah, he, he he blew it. He's such a piece of shit. I'm actually <laughs> negatively a hundred percent undefeated on playoff basketball bets. Every single time I bet the way I wanted to, they've lost. So the last two games, I've hammered Miami and lost those bets. So you know See, I had to keep guy. riding. Craig, Craig, yeah, Craig, I, Craig, I, Craig. I slammed the house on Miami tonight, too. That's Miami how you take it for the team. Out Taking of, losses on hey, purpose. If I got to do it, I got to do it. Out of 150 times, teams have been down 3-0. Zero have come back. Only three have forced the game seven. The Celtics are favored by three today. Favored? I can't, can't, yeah, yeah, favored on like the road. It. Um. I think they'll force it. You got you got to expect a big game from Jimmy Butler, man. If he scores like forty something points, in and their role players were in trouble. Like I said, like look at all these scores. You look at they held them under hundred points the last two games. If why? Do why that, do you think he's not been playing good? Is it the defense or is he just not? I, I think he's burnt out, shots. dude. I think he's burnt out. The last uh, he's Jimmy? smoking Jimmy too many Butler. butts. Yeah. What's he doing? Game five, I think it was the defense. Yeah. I do agree with you. He's burned out. Game five, like the Celtics played incredible. Yeah. Like that was an unbelievable basketball. Well, well the difference from them and every other team is they like there's not like a seven foot two guy on the heat. So they can switch off Marcus Smart, Derek White, both Jays on whoever they want in, on this team. And they're all going to fill in the right way. Grant Williams. That's the best part about this team. Usually you kind of have like a size disadvantage where, you know, the other team has a guy has the ball. If they do a switch, the guy's fucked. The Celtics don't have that problem as long as they don't put Peyton Pritchard on the floor. Yeah, what happened to yeah. Hanslem? Did he get traded to another team? You know, it's Haslam. Yeah. He's, on, he's on the he's on, he, he just has, doesn't play. He hasn't played in about five years. He's yeah. been yeah. retired yeah. since he's like 2017, but he's, he's on the he's, bench. He's, he's, like, he's just on the bench. Hey, yeah. The Alex Moran. He's scary <laughs> on the bench, though. If like they brought him in tonight, game yeah, six, and like a deciding last minute tie game. I don't know. I'd be scared he just because he, he's a menace. He will not come anywhere close to the floor. <laughs> I don't think so. He either. will not, but I would be fucking rattled. <laughs> <laughs> that if would rattle him. I'd do it. If he put it. his jersey on, took off his pants, and came out on the court. Because game shook. three, they were chanting his name, right? They were he, has, he, at the he end puts of the, the game. pole over over. There's, n- there's no way there's a jersey yeah, for that. There's I would no way. It. Yeah, it's not he's his. Still, he's got a suit ready to go for the night. He still is menacing on that bench, though. Not his Scal's year. like the play-by-play guy now. Scal has as good a chance playing in this game as Udonis has. <laughs> that, that's bold. Scal, Scal might have played in a game last than Udonis has. Yeah. 
No, actually, the, the last game of the season this year, the Heat played Haslam, and he had like 20 points. Fuck. That's what I'm saying. I feel like when he was playing, he had some like impact on the game. Like he's a oh, fucking, no, he he, was, what is he? He's 7'2". Isn't he fucking he, up there? He was good, I don't know about he was that, good back in the LeBron check, days. But check that was, like, Dynasty's height. Not good at 2K, though. He's probably no. like 6'8". Bad, bad at 2K. Bad at 2K. 7'2 is good. Um, he's yeah. got. He had a great career, though. He's got three ships under his belt, I think I saw. He's 6'7". Yeah. 6'7". Six, seven. Six, seven. Yeah, three, yeah, it's a three big ships. Big forward, he's stuck guys. with Miami the whole time. Yeah, he, he's sneaky out a great career. I'd oh, yeah, have a ship if I just sat on Miami the bench dude, for the fucking the time. dude. That's what you want to be. You want to be the backup quarterback. You don't want to get hurt. Adam Morrison has two rings. People forget that. Jesus, <laughs> Gonzaga guy. Yeah, Gonzaga guy. Team? Two rings. Lakers. Wow. Kobe. There's never R. I. P. Never knew. R. I. P. But um, I think the guy who's gonna have to step up the most tonight, and he stepped up the last couple of games. It's Jason Tatum. I think there's going to have to be a Tatum takeover game. I'm, th- I'm, th- I'm thinking like 35, 40 points. Obviously, the Celtics can win in different ways, but I think there's going to be a grind game. They're probably going to be losing for a lot of it. Uh, defense is going to be big, big, but I think that third quarter, that third quarter is outside of last game has been kind of huge. Whoever wins that third quarter kind of wins the game. Hey, Jalen Brown can shoot again. Uh, yeah, he shot. God bless him. He shot well again. God, I, I like those. I like Brown to have the, the big first three, three games. Yeah, he was legit terrible. I think statistically, Jalen Brown is actually doing better this playoffs than Jalen Brown. I mean, than Jason Tatum. He was, but not anymore. Jason Tatum took over the last over. Last, series. last couple games, last series. Um, Fuck yeah, Philly. Yeah, they had four guys in, <laughs> in, in twenty point digits last game. Um, Fuck Philly. Grant, Jimmy back. Grant, Grant Williams has stepped in playing significant minutes as, after uh, Malcolm Brogdon's injury. Um, Malcolm Brogdon probably going to be injured for the rest of the way here. Uh, Grant Williams has been great defensively. I'm expecting him that he's going to have to play big for this team to have, be successful. Also, another guy who I would like to see that get some minutes is Sam Hauser. He's a big three point threat. Play some defense. I think that's a guy where you can add in the rotation and not really have a hiccup. It was uh, like wow, with Brogdon when that came out that like he was hurt. Like I was like. Thankfully, something fucking came because he was terrible. Yeah, yeah no shit. Like, yeah. What, what, what was the injury awful. for him, and what is the update? Someone with his arm. arm. Yeah, and it's it, it seems like it's one of those injuries where he's just playing through it. But it, it, he's not the same player. I mean, he was nailing through. No, he's he was useless. To the rim. He's pretty useless. And I like it, six yeah. six man of the year. Like yeah. love Malcolm Brogdon. But he's even still playing him. Is he, can he play good D? Because yeah, uh, he, kind of. But doing nothing on. But like, no, he should be off the court. You come all this way. If you're a coach, you kind of want to play a guy who says I can play. Man, but I think man. it comes to a point where uh, I mean, he only played eight minutes last game, so they're kind. Of, they're, he probably won't play tonight. Yeah, I, I'd be keep, surprised. I keep him tonight. off the court today. Yep, he um, can play. He gets. He can get some time. Game seven. No, that's Give him what, a minute on the court. That, game seven. That's you what earned it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I think Haas is going to come and take his minutes. He's going to have a very short bench. Um, Smells like threes. Yeah, <laughs> eight man rotation. Rob Williams, Grant Williams, and Haas are coming off the bench. Um, expecting. Him. You know, Derek White played great last game. Hopefully, we're expecting the same. Uh, Marcus Smart being a pass first guy, but also taking the not not so many shots. He had twelve shots last game. It's pretty good for Marcus. Uh, he's taking the right shots. So, yeah. um, hopefully, more to see there. Uh, on the other side, only guys I'm really afraid of is uh, Jimmy Butler. Caleb Caleb Martin's a beast. I mean, I don't know how if you're a, a Celtics fan, how you haven't noticed his game yet. He drains just about every shot he takes, goes into the rim on people. Uh, Bam on a bio, just keeps hiccuping on, on himself. Uh, minus 15 last game rating. Uh, Kevin Love, pretty relevant. I mean, going down the list here, screw Duncan Robinson. He he yeah. played well. God played well. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like he hit, uh, I think it was game three, like, uh, like when we got pummeled and like, he hit like back to back, like layups because no one gave a shit. And I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah. And he was hitting three. He was. I don't know. I didn't know who he was, but he quickly. I was like, like this Jimmy, guy's Kyle Korver. Yeah, he Jimmy, doesn't miss. Jimmy Butler beats us. That sucks, but like yeah. that happens. Yeah. Like Duncan, well, Duncan Robinson, Robinson fuck off, man. He hasn't beat come us. on. I want it to come down to be like a Duncan Robinson three for the series, like there was last year. With no, Jimmy we don't Butler, want that. We don't and want he that. Yeah, just no. airball. No, we don't want he that. Just that. airball. I'd rather. That's Jimmy what you want. That's what you want. I don't want. I'd rather Jimmy take it. I don't yeah. want that. I'll go all. down to Jimmy. I will not go down to Doug. Yeah, yeah exactly, that would be tough. Exactly, that would be tough. Exactly. Uh, Predictions? I, I think so. I mean, I, I said in the beginning of the series, I'm sticking with it. I think they're going to pull it off. I think it's going to be Celtics and seven. And I don't know how you, if you're a Celtics fan, how do you think they're going to lose this now? They have all the momentum. 
I know they're going into Miami game six. This is going to be the tough one, but this is where, you know, superstars come up to play. I'm telling you this is just going to be Jason Tatum's night, and I'm look, really looking forward to watching this basketball game. On the table again. And Miami's fandom <laughs> <Yeah>! sucks. Miami's <laughs> fandom sucks. It's all influencers and celebrities. No one there has energy. We're gonna. I feel like I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like we're gonna come out strong in this game and just fucking blow them out of the water. And then Game Seven, it's gonna be. Don't Eddie let will. us lose. Showtime. Showtime will be in the. Hope building. it snows. I will be at Game Seven. I will take off Monday night if the Celtics are there. My buddy. You has better a, take it off. No, my buddy has a VIP booth. I'm. I'm probably gonna. Go what are you gonna there. wear? Yeah, sorry, Craig Hyde's is coming. I'm probably. Gonna, I'm probably gonna wear a heat jersey. Like I said, I'm gonna hammer the heat again. I mean, my my streak keeps going. I'm gonna right. lose like five hundred dollars this championship. But hey, see you at the parade. Right. Yeah, I'll see. I'll see you on the boat. So probably be on one. So Showtime's got Celts in seven. It sounds yep. steel seven, seven, seven. Game seven, yep. seven. Celtics in seven, baby. You heard Should it. Should I be that guy? Do it. <laughs> Do it. You Miami, fucking coward. Miami tonight finishes the story. God, we hate. I it. hated that. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Get him out. <laughs> it hurt to say it. It hurt to say it, but it's Anton's fault. Yeah, it is. It's it's fault. Sucks. We have. <laughs> he would have had the best energy in the building. I could see him maybe like falling over the balcony, like causing a scene. No, he 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 is a good candidate now for a scapegoat if they do lose oh, tonight. It's like it's all, all on him. It's all he his knows fault. it too. It's all he his knows fault. it. He will take full blame. Um, but <laughs> yeah, what's your thoughts on Anton not coming, not going to Miami? I think it's a coward move. I think I'm more upset him not coming today. Yeah, that too. I doubt he's even working. Seven yeah. eleven shift. My that, ass. That's bullshit. That's an oh, I that's think he was talking shift. about last night, and he's just too tired today. No, to come no, out. it was a four oh, hour shift. Today? Yeah, four yeah. hour oh, shift. My ass. Today. What was? What? What do you mean? It was. Yeah, how does he get a four hour shift today? He's supposed to be in fucking Miami right no, now on kid, a tiki boat. Kid went on a bender last he's night. He's a lion sack yeah. of shit. Yeah, he's a Rays fan. <laughs> I'll give it and to you him. Guys, you the, guys thought he was yeah. like showing off, dude. The prices of those flights it. were outrageous. They were like seven hundred bucks for lack literally of back need, and forth. I, I'm mad at him for not being here. Do not care about him not going to Miami. Like there's probably like twelve hundred. Like the like game six they used to come. He, he could have figured it out flight too. To yeah, a fucking. flight to Tampa is like hundred and twenty. La- lack well, lack Tampa's of preparation. Is like, what, not five Miami. hours from you, Miami. That's you, not Miami. You buy that ticket. You buy that ticket last week, and you fucking put some insurance on it. Yeah, that's lack of preparation. Lack of belief. A, lack a, of belief, he, even. He, he was talking a, about this before game five. Those tickets were cheap. He had a free ticket to go coward. to the game tonight. He had a free ticket to go to the game. How? Through James? He, he yeah. claims James didn't buy the tickets either. No, he would have. He would have. I know I know James would have. Yeah. Shout out, James. Just moved into another great spot. We're going to have to come check that Jimmy out. Jimmy boy. Yeah, fine. We'll check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Captain Vic down there if you're on the seas, if you're still alive. Dude, you should you marry that guy already. Yeah. <laughs> I won't marry him, but I'll let it rip with him any day. I, w- I went down to that stroking. little sea <laughs> pause. Stroking with him. I, went, I went past the Ferris wheel there last month. I didn't see him. Um, <laughs> He might be dead. Like, he's a good candidate for, like, somebody died. Yeah, oh, exactly. He's fine. But I he's hope fine. he's not. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> so, um, and sneaky Celtics in seven. I just did that for the camera. Okay. Yeah, you got to do it for the likes, I guess. Um, taking a video. Well, um, we'll switch gears now. So, oh, oh, one last question. Okay. If we even win, can they beat the Nuggets? Um, we'll, we'll get we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <sighs> what's give give me time? just a quick answer. All that matters is tonight. Man. You're right. You're right. Cross All that, that bridge when we tonight. get to it. Yeah, take it easy. Sorry. Didn't it's okay. Myself. Um, we'll get off sports for a little bit. Um, I thought of a good little throw in here. Uh, outside of the Irish pub, it's a great Saturday afternoon, Memorial Day weekend. Um, where's a good place to go grab a beer? I'd probably say Sea Seaport Social. <laughs> it's a great spot. <laughs> where's that located? Uh, 225 Northern Ave in Seaport, Massachusetts. Bang! <laughs> Bang! That's amazing. What's so good about it, Craig? Dude, they have honestly one of the best short rib dinners i've ever had in my entire life maybe one of the juiciest and most tender short ribs in the game one of the biggest so, plates of not plates of nachos you can get dude i i've never one had one biggest. bad experience going to seaport social go see our girl anna she'll hook it up tell you know uh bob's assistant <laughs> she loves that line <laughs> they got happy dads i rec- i love that nice not everybody has those yeah, you can catch a game anywhere. Water Club, Marina Bay. It's always going to be probably fucking packed for Memorial Day weekend. The Nines is always a good time. Uh, you I know, like outdoor spots. You know what's a good one? New spot, Kilroy's in the square. Still haven't been. Go get the Naz now. Oh, I have heard about the Naz. <laughs> I heard it's one of the top sellers on the it's menu. It's an Italian sub. 
Italian? Italian. So the gout Italian special. Sub. The gout special. <laughs> What's it like? I should gout. Why? Wh- they say it's a five star dive bar. Can you explain that a little? So oh, I agree. It's good. Um, so they like did everything over. It's really nice in there. They haven't opened upstairs yet, which they should. Once it's going to be an electric factory when they open up upstairs. But good menu there. Got the Naz. Got the Kieran. They basically it's one of those places where you go out to dinner and you go out to Alba somewhere. Or you're looking for a couple cocktails after maybe a little appetizer. You're still a little hungry. Uh, good spot to go to. Um, know the people who run it. Great, great people. How are the tenders? Um, have you tried the tenders? No, I'm the bartender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. How many times have you tried the Naz? <laughs> you got M- Mikey Callahan's over there. Good squad yeah, kid. Shout out, Mikey. I haven't tried it yet. Um, you haven't tried it yet? No, I've only been How there. How do we not have a food review of the Naz yet? We Because we need to go there as a team, and we can barely get to Also, get as a team, we next, go there week, tomorrow. next weekend's Disgusting. weather's looking good. We might have to have a steal and Naz day on the uh, ye old SS Irish goodbye. Where's that? Marina Bay. That's, That's my boat. boat. That's the name of my boat. Oh, wow. newly launched. Whoa. Still hasn't been christened yet. Still waiting for the uh, batteries to charge up. Going Whoa, here. Did you name it go. that? I named it that myself. Well, That's still, a fucking great wait, boat name. Still That's waiting a great for boat. Yeah, still waiting for the invite. I'll go. <laughs> but it's still not ready. It's still dockside. I'll be down there, yeah. growing up on the dock, get, having some fucking menacing get, uh, times. Looking like uh, Keanu Reeves and the replacements. Yeah, making a couple <laughs> nazes. Yeah. Fucking yeah, <laughs> bring some Kilroy's. <laughs> Kilroy does look good. It has my interest. It's Espresso somewhere. martinis were good. I, that's what I had when I went there for the opening that their kitchen wasn't open yet. That's why I didn't get it. Um, but I will try it soon. I had family members who tried Naz last week. They said it was a 10 out of 10. Uh, I heard the Kieran's a 10 out of 10 as well. There's a sandwich there called the Kieran. Rest in peace to your boy. Um, I think it's like a meat lo- Chipotle right, meatloaf. Yeah. yeah, it was like Chipotle yeah. meatloaf, I think. Yeah, Throw the pub on the list. I think a pub's a good place to watch game six tonight. Uh, I, have a beer. I don't know, dude. I, I've Maybe like not. the last like four games I've been to there, like Bruins or Celtics, like they've lost. So I think I, like I'm trying to stay out of there. We'll see if that happens tonight. Probably not, but we'll see. Yeah, well, like still, I would stay at the last two. Yeah. So still, like I still can be there. Yeah. <laughs> still lives and dies in there. So, I mean, if we're still alive. Did many men play during work. game four, game five? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Is it going to be played for game six? Yes. <laughs> Might play it now. Touch tunes. God bless it. What else, what else we have on the horizon? I was going to talk about uh, the shanty. Great spot as well. Yeah, the Red Sox suck, but I don't really want to talk. They big win last night against Arizona. Um, Is it though? We'll dive into baseball when Anton comes more. Uh, Patriots have a snitch on their team. I think we should. Uh, it was, Is it Jim McNally again? Probably. Skin so milk, skim milk nally. So I guess their special teams unit was going like too hard or something. And then a player on the inside told the NFL PA and they got suspended for two OTA days. So they can't show up for like two OTAs. Um, I blame Goodell. They're just always. That's a hilarious suspension. <laughs> like sick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll just go. We'll just go practice at like. Bishop Field then. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Like Bill Belichick definitely got that like like email and like letter on his desk. It was like unreal. Fuck like, off. Fucking, yeah, like we're gonna get, we're gonna go to the field down the street. Like fucking who cares? Mm-hmm. Uh Don Sweeney named finalist for GM of the year. Is that well deserved? Very I, well deserved. I think it is very well deserved. It, it was not his fault this year for them losing. No, the team did everything they had to. Put this him didn't actually get it done. They ran into destiny. They put yeah, I know do Florida Panthers. Florida or Vegas, who's winning? Florida. Florida might Florida. be their year. I love I like that series though. That's a good cup. Yeah. That's a good cup. Sergey Bobrowski, man. And Kichuk's been the best player in the playoffs. Bobrowski is a uh, psycho. Bob, big, yeah, Bob big Kichuk, yeah. Hall of Fame. What? He wins oh, yeah, the yeah. cup. Hall of Fame. Hall 100%. Of fame. Yep. 100%. Two Vesnas. Two, two, two Vesnas if he if Hall they, of Famer. Actually, he probably won't win that playoff MVP, even though he probably deserves it. If the Panthers win, Kichuk will win it, but uh I it's mean, great. It's, what it's have they lost? Eight. One fucking game since us? Uh, yep. Yeah, they swept in the four-one. Yeah. That's crazy, <laughs> dude. Did they just play a different? They should have played that. If you're gonna, if you're gonna fucking... lose to a team, it better, you gotta, be, yeah. you better be the team make, make, making the fucking championship. Or they could have just kept playing their shitty backup fashion. goalie, oh, and we could have won. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I wish they stuck in that. Yeah, Alex Lyon should have played every fucking oh, game. Oh my god, he was so bad in those early games. Oh, damn it, awful. Was this guy who's the goalie now? The guy you're saying he, sure, won, he didn't start that series no. against us because yeah. he came in game because they four. went on an eight game. Three. They went on an eight game winning five. streak at the end of the year just to make the playoffs, and that guy Lyon played every game, so that's why he got the nod. And then he sucked against the Bruins. They put in Sergey. Rest is history. Um, Panthers fans 
Looks like there's not too many still. I don't care what you say. Good for the team. Um, good for Sean Thornton. Good for Sean Thornton. Yep. Which, which is what matters. I doubt there's that many Vegas Knights fans either. I mean, I mean, there's going to be some trash. That, that building's games. electric. Though, gonna be, so yeah, it's going to be them. trash both ways. Yeah. Both ways is going to be a trash games. Fuck. And not games, but trash. You have to go audience. out of your way to go to that fucking. I'll give them credit, though. You have to. Like what is that, it like 30 minutes from Fort Lauderdale? Yeah, it's like in That's Sunrise, Florida, you get off and it looks like a it looks like a mall. <laughs> like Wherever that, Sean Thornton wants That's it to what be. the stadium looks like. Yeah, Sean I'm Thornton. I'm sure they'll be showing up. Flor- Florida's the city of champions. <laughs> the state of champions. <laughs> Fuck, off, man. Fuck off. Fuck off, dude. Fuck off. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. They can have the Florida Panthers, but Miami's got to go down. And also, we own Miami if we beat them again <laughs> in this series. Yes, we, we officially own them. Well, it is it is one one. They beat us in twenty twenty. We beat them last year. Um, oh, we'll see about tonight. I take that back. We don't. No, own it's them really zero zero. Like. We played tonight. <laughs> I like that. Get it ready. It's good. Um, Paul Pearson's in the uh, the uh, stands the other day. Looked like he uh, was putting off for the for the boys. It was an absolute cheap shot that they kept showing fucking Derek Jeter and A-Rod in uh, game yeah. four. <laughs> they, were just like, they were just like, the only team that's come back from like, fucking, like oh, down 3 <laughs> was the 4 Red Sox and they just showed like Derek Jeter and A-Rod in the front like, row yeah, of the fucking of, game and I was that like, That was Damn. perfect, dude. That, that cue, like the Kevin Millar <laughs> thing. Absolute cheap shot. Oh, that was great. <laughs> they honestly probably paid him to be there. Be like, yeah, can you guys just like show up? I know you guys live down the street. Um, would you rather segment? Would you rather get kicked in the nuts or eat a Jimmy John's song? Probably get kicked in the nuts. Yeah, probably get kicked <laughs> kick in the nuts. Get me in the fucking nuts, Yeah, dude. that place blows. Kick me twice. Get a get, fucking, yeah, get, get an oven. Get a fucking toaster, dude. <laughs> toaster, yeah. Oh, yeah. If it ain't Quiznos, fuck out it. Quiznos, the goat. Quiznos good. Is Quiznos the best sub shop? Yeah. I, I've been hearing a lot about Jersey Mike's. I haven't fully committed, but I heard it's I heard. I haven't gone to a Jersey Mike's, but I don't know. Nothing compares to Quiznos. Also, big shout out here. I was waiting for my coffee this morning at Starbucks. I got a sandwich and I got hungry for breakfast. 30 minute wait. Yeah, still happens. didn't get it. Still didn't get it. Still wait, you get never it. got your sandwich? Never never got, that? They had to leave. There's, had a, to leave. there's a sandwich at Starbucks just waiting for you. Yeah. I'll see you there at Starbucks. <laughs> Which one was that? Yeah, I'm Adam. <laughs> Nothing. What'd you get? The double, double smoked ham? Nah, fuck that. Come I got, on. got some bacon. <sighs> smoked ham, dude? Who are you? I'm Canadian. Uh, come on. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Come on. Canadian bacon, baby. Fox, the Starbucks. It's a, I'm that, a, especially that spot on a Saturday morning. You should have expected I'm that. A, yeah, but I ordered like 30 minutes ahead. Oh, you, you did a pickup? Oh, yeah, of course it did. Oh, my God. Of course it did. Pick it, clean it up, Starbucks. Clean it up. I'm addicted to their coffee, so I have to keep it going. Like, I can't drink Dunkin' Donuts coffee anymore. I can't oh, yeah. do it. It's awful. I'm a big strawberry strawberry acai refresher. You know what guy. I've been crushing oh. recently? It's a fucking nice, good deal nice. out there. Cumberland Farms iced coffee. Dollar <laughs> thirty eight for a lot. <laughs> yeah, Come what on. Do you, what do you live in a trailer park, dude? <laughs> I'm out in Worcester. It's the only fucking spot around. Quick gas station stop. They got the super sliced breakfast pizza. If I'm fucking starving, I had to skip it today because I'm going on the boat. Got to look in slim. <laughs> Any ladies on the boat today, Showtime? Uh, like I said, I'm charging my batteries up to see if this thing takes a maiden voyage, so I couldn't dish out too many uh, invitations to the ladies in case they're like, let's go for a ride. And I'd be like, we're stuck on the deck. <laughs> maybe, maybe, we're not going yeah. anywhere. So if you get an invite at 11.35, you know my boat's working. So ladies, see you there. Maybe when we Love get the it. invite, we'll get we'll get the Steel and Naz Day sponsored by Club Alex's. Maybe Dude. they'll bring on a couple dancers. Dude, imagine that. <laughs> <sighs> that would be something. It's not the worst plan. Mm-hmm. I just love lie. the name. The Irish Goodbye is such a good fucking boat Dude, it name, came out with myself. I've never seen a boat with that name. It, it had like sentimental value to the name. I was thinking about getting rid of the thing because it's a fucking money pit. You know what boat stands for, right, boys? Break but, out another thousand. thousand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking pit. The, dude, the maintenance is so tough on that. It, like, It cost me yeah. in insurance and my slip alone. It cost me $6,000 just to keep it oh, wow. down the marina. 
That's ah, that's okay. better than an NFT investment. Mm, about the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, see, hey, hey, guess what? One day it'll pay off. And, and my kill count off that boat alone is fucking yeah, ass. At least you have like a it. sick boat. Like Anton lost that on fucking <laughs> fake cards. Fuck it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think I might have gotten laid off my NFT once. <laughs> that's John. Shit. <laughs> Good for you. It was my Twitter profile photo. That's that's another NFT, but. Hey, it's not bad. Switch on the uh, one sports thing. So the Cardinals released DeAndre Hopkins. Still, percentage that he goes to the New England Patriots? 25, but I'm in. <laughs> I, I'd say like 3%. They'd actually have to pay this guy for him to get on the team. I feel like at this point in his career, probably going to go to like the Bills or Kansas City. Some, some team nah, probably go to the Bills. Win. I the could Bills see him go to Kansas move. City. I'd be sick. Yeah, that would suck. So he should go to the Bills. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> that would suck even worse if he went to the Bills. Yeah, the Bills. No, we're going to lose to the Bills like the, anyway. So that's the matter. Early football prediction. I have the Bills winning the Super Bowl this year. You heard it here first. Dumb. Fucking rocket, lock it, and sock it, pocket. Bangles. Oh, wow. Joe Burrow. Bangles. Joey Burr. Bangles. How about the Patriots? The Patriots going to win the Super Bowl? No shot. No shot. How yeah. about Tampa? Baker Mayfield? Maybe. <laughs> Did you see the video they posted of uh, like it was like Baker's like first time in a fucking box jersey, and it was just him throwing an absolute duck nowhere near the receiver. <laughs> like, like it was on, like it was like the box like official Twitter. Like it was oh, like wow. it was like oh uh, like it was like Baker Mayfield's here, and it was just him throwing it to the fucking stands. Oh wow! Maybe he was just showing off the range. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Um, I gotta say one thing. Yeah. White slushy, pretty good. White slushy, good. White slushy. Yeah, the white was better than the blue. The Big white, fan. The white that, sneaky is. That's what producer Justin was saying. Saying white slushy was better than the full coloring ones. Yeah. One thing I will say about it does football, have a distinct though, taste. We beat the Jets and Aaron Rodgers it does twice. Taste like something. I like that. It does have the underlying. Uh, it's like lemonadey kind of. It, this one's solid. Let me get the, let me get another flavor <laughs> sip of this real quick. Hey, the, shout out to Down East. Ooh. Throw us some fucking sponsor for this. People are gonna be all over these. People are going to be all over these red, white, and blue Memorial Day it's weekend. It's kind of like a fermented apple juice. Fermented apple Yeah, juice. like one you left in the fridge too long. That's You're not, not a sure good you sell. should be drinking it or it's not. not but you know sell. what? That's an awful you sell. Put, you, you, you put, I don't know. That's <laughs> that's what fucking hard cider is. So it's kind of nailing it right now for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to even get the cider taste out of these. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm right. <laughs> get it done, Craig. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. Big sporter. What else we got? Um, we are o- we are zero and two against Chase Hooper. Uh, Nick Fiore went down against Lost. Chase Hooper last week. Dude, I keep riding fucking Nick Fiore too. I'm mm. fucking. I'm literally emptying my bank account to bet on him, and he keeps losing. I'm so upset. But it, it went to decision though. Yeah, no? it was unanimous. Yeah. Um, I mean, another good showing. You get to the UFC. That's awesome. But uh, I didn't. I didn't really watch the fight. I think. I think I was doing something. But uh, Terrence Crawford, break- Errol Spence, July 29th. <laughs> Finally got announced. Been waiting for that fight. And boxing another, for like another seven years. Another fucking breaking news is UFC's coming back to Boston for the first time in three and a half years. So yeah, it's gonna be Sugar Sean and uh, El Monster. And I think that they might be putting Rob Font on the uh, the scorecard. So I did see that. Yeah. I so saw his little if, he, if, he throw, if he's on there, well, I'll, I'll probably be there regardless. But if Rob <laughs> Font's out there, that's gonna be a big show. It's for the gotta be there respectfully. Oh, I think it's gonna be August 9th. I think they're aiming for nineteenth, nineteenth, nineteenth. Um, and anyone see the McGregor doc? Uh, oh, I it was good though. I, I, I liked it. it. No. Couldn't get into it. Couldn't get into it. Nah. Couldn't get into what do you mean? It? Couldn't get into it. I don't know. Yeah. I what just, do you mean? Couldn't. Yeah, get I've into never it. been more wanting of McGregor. I, I, like I, I haven't watched it, but what do you mean? Couldn't get I, into I, it. I, I just I just loved Conor McGregor like five years ago, way more than I do right now. I think he's kind of like irrelevant, but uh, oh, I don't like he, that he, take. He, I don't he, like he, that take one bet. He will never have another one in the UFC. That doesn't matter though. He's still the king. When when he comes around, you're gonna fucking watch him no matter what. Does the UFC have a Hall of Fame? Yeah, Yeah, big time. Yeah, big time. McGregor in that? He will be. He will be. He will be. Gotta be. He literally changed the game. He changed the game. He changed the game. No question at all. He was game. so good when he was younger. He should have never moved up weight classes. It, he should have stayed right where he was. It wasn't even how good he was. It was about his fucking showmanship. Yeah, you know, that's like he, what the UFC yeah, yeah. is. One of the great shit talkers of all time. Yeah. Oh, at maybe, any point. Even yeah, after a loss. Yeah, like, even after a loss. Your wife's in me DMs. <laughs> this ain't over. <laughs> this ain't over. Also, shout out to me for winning the uh, Preakness Stakes last week. Hey, round of applause for Nas. <laughs> Not clapping once. Not what clapping once. What's his name? National Treasure took yep. it down. Yep. Four to one odds. Yeah, hey, what about Mage? Who did he beat? Mage went down. Mage, Mage won the Kentucky Derby, came in third. 
Uh, Chase the Chaos I, is I, the second, I did, second place. Yeah, I did sprinkle a little bit with Coffee with Chris, who was 20 to 1, um, came in fourth. But National Treasure took it home. Big win. Was two fills in this one again? I was a big fan of that in the Kentucky uh, Derby. No, there was only like seven horses. I mean, it's just like. There was a whole Wait, so is coffee it? with Chris. Yeah. Can you put money on it? <laughs> of course it yeah. is. Yeah. Hey, I'm on <laughs> I'm undoing my clap right now. You can't see him on camera. <laughs> Chase the Chaos might be my favorite Fuck name Chris. ever. I love um, that name. He I would have lost. Yeah, coffee with Chris. That. I was like, I have to put like at least a couple bucks on this. Yeah. Fuck. You bet on the horse name. You really 100%. do. You really do. You don't have you don't know who's No, it's all names. Doing. Yeah, you don't fucking yeah, dude. Yeah. And if you think if you think you do, you're just an idiot. Like these whole like um I don't know. They go. They do like seven, eight hours of like these pregame shit and like picks of the win. Like, how, how the fuck do they know? They don't. They like, oh, this guy played well in the some like irrelevant like derby, like the Florida Derby. Oh, this guy came in first. It's a short track. It's like sick, dude. We got a whole other race today. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Who's winning the derby? Yeah, the whole, <laughs> it, it's a sad sport, too. Not even getting there, but like mad horses be like. Like dying and no shit. Need yeah, to go break there. your leg, yeah. dude. Get no shot in the need. head. You got two yeah, options: yeah. shot in the head or it's shot in the, in the head. Yeah, it's a sport. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. Sports it's a comedy great, podcast. It's a great time to go to, though. <laughs> I don't know if you've been to a horse race. I'd, I'd love, love to go. Has anyone here been to Saratoga? Yeah, I'd love to go. Time. Go to the Derby unreal. next year. Can't Show wait. Showtime. Really? Should, what? Wow. What? That's right. That's with right. Who? Derby. It's happening. Who are you going with? It's happening. I'm supposed to only go into, but yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. So who's what's Moves the big You're not invited, Magic. Yeah, you're legit. <laughs> Showtime yeah. going? Legit yeah, knock it. I'm legit going. knock it or rip it. I'm like, a Saratoga guy anyway. Yeah. Once you get derby. banned from the Irish pub, you get banned from the. Kentucky I'm not derby. even banned. I actually you should be. I went to the Irish pub and I said, "Am I banned here?" And they were like, "No." What are you talking about? Well, they just got a new bartender, so like you. No, it's the same bartender that Craig said I. That you should be. <laughs> she, she was like, "He's pulling your leg. You weren't even that bad." Still was with me. Yeah, they had it. They had to do what? Uh, Still, did night. I not have to fucking rip this kid out of our shop? No, that was bad. That was I tough. believe you. Was that the night of Game Seven? Yeah, yeah. when yeah. they should have fucking kicked you out when you walked in because I was on was a pissed. little bit of shrooms. I saw the look on Mike Steele's face when he walked in. We were up, and yeah. it just went all down. I yeah. totally killed the vibe, killed the energy. No, yeah. Well, also, you were calling me there, though, Steele. So you you brought you brought your Jeez, own. Jeez, I didn't know that. He That's was, breaking news. He was calling me saying, "Where are you?" Defend the wall. So it was Steele's fault. It was Steele's fault. <laughs> Defend the so wall. So Steele never commit to a couple, a period in one place and more periods in another. Like, I had like my shirt that off that but... night. Shit was getting nuts in there. Was, we got some shots. <laughs> I actually had a few. And that's how you win a game seven. I've actually had a few <laughs> girls hit me up since that night. They're like, damn. Kid was fucking Were there chicks in there that night? No. Uh, no. That was a few. There was none. There might have been. There was some few late night. You left early, buddy. I left early. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, pal. That's my bedtime. Watch your That's my bedtime. Obviously, I can't give an accurate description. Wife of was what dragging was them all by the earlobe. All right. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, let's close it out with uh, score pred- predictions tonight. I got the Celtics winning by 15. <laughs> can't wait. It's going to be a hell of a third quarter. Jason Tatum's going to go off. 110 what? to 101. I like well, Celtics. 1-9-105 Celtics. I like that. Uh, you got the heat, right? No. one one oh three one hundred Celtics. Game winning three, Peyton Pritchard? No. No. Uh, game, oh. winning, game winning three, <laughs> Derek <laughs> White. Oh. Oh, I like you? that. Why not you? Why I don't not? know why it would be because he's probably not getting the ball. No, that, but he might. But it could be like Jason Tatum going to the rim. Everyone's on him because they know he's going to shoot fucking... Kick out I three. think they were making Bang. great extra passes last game. I want to see more of that. Dude, when you got what made it. When a lot you, of extra passes. When you have the three two to two three zone on you, dude, it's all about you know, ball movement, baby. Ball movement. Fuck the heat. I love you, Jimmy Butler, but tonight's not your night. Fuck Jimmy it's Butler. Done. Fuck Jimmy Butler. I love Jimmy Butler. I'll never talk shit on him. What is it? You're a Tampa guy, not a Miami guy. I'm a Florida. Thirty. All right, what? Our year. Our year. Is it back on? Us. Is it back on? Our year. Our year. Is our year back on? It's been, never been off. It was off. You, for, people don't know seven. what our year even means. After, They're ridiculing Steele over here. They think he's a fucking, he's saying it for the sports teams. It's his year. It's our year. It's our year. Is next year our year too? No, yes, it might not it be. Will be. I don't know. It depends on, on what January happens on 1st, January 1st. 2024, it will be our year again. <laughs> we'll see. But it is our year. Currently now, 2023 is our year. Let's fucking go. Episode, I believe it's 126. 126, in, boys. In the books. Um... Big shout out to Slide Ice Fitness and Performance once again. Craig Kelly, keep doing what you're doing, man. Big shout out. Law well, Office of Patrick J. Foley. Get the smoke going, Catch man. him up. Get the smoke going. Get Let's go, Celtics. Oh, Celtics a lot of babes. Celtics and seven. Celtics and seven.
Let's roll. Yup.